हेलो वेलकम टू एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर 4 एंड द पार्ट 4 ऑफ दिस बुक दैट इज द मैकेनिक्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर एबी गुप्ता एक्चुअली दिस लेक्चर सीरीज कंसिस्ट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड यू नो इन दिस चैनल वी प्रोवाइड एक्चुअली डिफरेंट फेज रिलेटेड थ्योरेटिकल एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशन सो इफ यू वांट्स टू यू कैन गो थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू विल बी गेट link of different uh, physics related video for different playlist so in this lecture we want to discuss question number 1 to question number 9 of chapter 2 of this book that is consists mechanics of a particle so let's start with question number 1 which says that a particle of mass a moving in a circular orbit of radius r so this is a particle which is moving in a circular orbit of radius r has an angular momentum l l is the angular momentum Find the kinetic energy in terms of L, M and R. So kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy if we consider because this is a rotational motion. So rotational kinetic energy is the half I omega square. I is the moment of inertia, omega is the angular velocity. So moment of inertia of a particle with mass M when you know, it's rotate in a circular path, it will be M R square and this is omega square. So we can rewrite this as a M omega R square square whole square by m r square because this is omega square this is m square so there must be a m and this is r to the power 4 there must be r square and you know the angular momentum which is m v r because l equals to r cross p that is r into p p is the m v so l is the m v r okay so i think you clear about this relation that is l equals to r cross p in vector form so this is r p sin theta if you take this is a perpendicular this will be 1 p is the m b right so you will be get m b because this is a perpendicular to each other this velocity along that direction and r is that direction so this is the perpendicular to each other right so this is the velocity direction okay so you will be get this is m b r so v r we can write this as a v r is the r omega so this is m omega r square that's why we take this as m omega r square just that can we can write this as a in terms of l so this is l square uh, by 2 m r square i think clear there is a missing of r next question a body of mass m uniformly accelerate from rest to a uh, rest to a speed v in time tau so that the work done on the body as a function of time is given by this this is the work done in term uh, in a function of time okay so here the initial velocity is zero and the velocity in time tau is the v v is the velocity in time tau so from now you know the v is u plus a t if you apply this relation v is u plus a t a and t is the tau so this is v equal to a tau so acceleration is v by tau if velocity in time t is capital v so v equal to a t and a is v by tau so this is the velocity in time t and the distance a is equals to ut plus half a t square u is zero so this will f a t square now the work done equal to this mass into a uh, force into displacement force is mass into acceleration so acceleration is constant so this will be m a s s is the half a t square and uh, if you just put this value of a that is v by tau you will get this answer actually this is not used here you can neglect these things no problem you can neglect this thing this distance is the important okay i think clear next question next question says a body is moved along a straight line by means of mechanical delivering power at a constant rate so power rate is a constant power is constant so that the distance for moved by the body at time t is directly proportional to this so power which is constant power is force into velocity okay so if you write this force mass into acceleration that is dv dt so v dv and this is p by f dt if you are integrating you will get this one at time t the velocity will be zero so c1 is zero so v square equal to this one so v equal to that one v is ds dt so this will be that one rearranging them integrating you will be get the answer that is the displacement is proportional to t to the power 3 by very simple next question a uniform chain of total length is a the uniform chain whose total length is a 
placed on a horizontal frictional table so that the length of B change uh, triangle over this slide. The B portion is triangle over this side. So that the time T0 required to uh, required for chain to slide off the table is given by. So uh, the time required to slide off the total portion of this chain will be like that. You need to prove that this relation, the time which is um, the slide of total things will be like that. Okay. So take uh, if we take the mass per unit length is lambda. So the mass of this portion is lambda b and mass of this portion is lambda b g force apply so if you take the uh, two situation at this one and the at uh, when is regulating this process when this length is l and these two position if you take consider the energy so the potential energy of this portion if you take this as zero so this will be the pot uh, potential energy that is minus lambda bg is the mass of this body and the length will be b by 2 because this center of mass at the b by 2 because the height is varying, so we will need to, we will take the position of center of mass. So you will be get this one because this is a, uh, uniform, right? And the potential of the uh, this body will be minus lambda by two g l square something. Kinetic energy of that uh, situation is zero because in this there is no velocity, but here this is a velocity, so the velocity will be half lambda l uh, actually this is not lambda l this is lambda a right this is lambda a this is lambda a sorry if we take this is lambda a because total portion is moving at the velocity v right total portion is moving at the velocity v clear so if you cons uh, taking this uh, total energy is conserved that is potential plus kinetic equal to constant you will be get this relation and if you rearranging them you will be get v equal to this and v is the dl dt so if you separate out this thing and this formula of this integration is like that and this integration will be like that so after that you will be get this answer very easily next question says if t is the instantaneous kinetic energy of a moving particle of mass m the mass m whose kinetic energy is capital t so that ddt this is small t must be small t that is mt equal to f dot t okay so ddt of m into t m is the mass t is the kinetic energy so dm dt which is zero and this is dt 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 is the half m square this square can be written as v dot v if you derivative this thing you will be get this one and if you take the m into because m is a constant here so this becomes dp dt and this is p so that is f dot p next question a cannon has its maximum range is this this is the maximum range prove that the maximum range is resiled the height released such that this is the height and the total flight of time must be this so from this project uh, projectile motion you know very well that is uh, along this y direction initial velocity is u sin theta at this position y velocity is zero so this h can be measured by this formula that is v square equal to u square minus 2 a s so v square that means this square uh, v square that means zero square and u square is that square minus 2 g h so h can be calculated like that u square sin square theta by 2 g and for the time of flight you will be get v equal to u plus at so time is this so total time of flight will be 2 into d due to symmetry so range can be calculated that is velocity along this x direction into total time so this is the range range will be maximum when theta is 45 degrees so uh, maximum range will be u square by g and uh, the height will be maximum when this will be happen that is theta 45 degree will be get this one And this is nothing but r max by 4. Next things is the total time of flight. So if you put this theta is 45 degree in this relation, you will be get that one. And you can see this u is nothing but root under r into z, r max into g. So if you put, you will be get this relation. I think clear. Next question. 
find the nature of the force conservative or non conservative if the work done is given like that mm, i think this is the potential because if, if, if the conservative force it all work done must be zero force integral of work done must be zero closed integral of work done must be zero So uh, this can be written as Carl of A dot ds by uh, using Stokes theorem. You know about the Stokes theorem in vector analysis. You all know that the vector analysis by MS Phi gel total solution given in this channel. You can get link in description box. Stokes theorem use here. So you can say call of A is zero, and you know this uh, vector identity from here. You can take this minus is a notation. So here, if you take this v, so if you get grad v, that is i cap. You know this grad operator is equivalent to i cap del del x j cap del del y k cap del del z. Right. So if you take this uh, uh, operator, uh, if you take the uh, derivative partial derivative with respect to x you will be get to x y and minus z q for that in respect to y you will be get x square in respect to z you will be get minus 3 x z square and minus 1 so if you take curl of grad v if you take curl of grad v you will be get this one so this is the zero so you can say this force is conservative force Examine whether the force are conservative or not. Whether the force is conservative or not. Just before we learn about this for conservative force, call of F is zero. So we just check this relation. Call of F is zero. So if you check this relation for that one, here the force are given here. So, curl of A for this, this is del del x, del del y, del del z, and this one is the alpha x r to the power 4, alpha y r to the power 4, alpha z r to the power 4. So, for i cap, this is del del y of this minus del del z of this. If you take derivative of this one, alpha z as a constant, and the derivative of r to the power 4 is minus 4 by r to the power 5 del r del y. Here you can say del r del y, r is nothing but root under x square plus y square plus z square so if you derivative of this thing you will be get 1 by 2 root under this one that is the r and derivative of this one 2y so this is gives you y by r okay similarly for del r by del z you will be get z by r that's one in the similar process you can get this is a zero okay i think you can do this no problem next question for that one you can take here similar things i cap del del y of these things is the x the legend of these things is the x also for j cap this is the legend of this is y and this is y also and for k cap this is z and this is z also so finally you will be get zero here so i think clear okay Next question, uh, same things here also, del del x of, no, sorry, for i cap del del y of this one, you will be get 2 and del del z of this one, this is 2 also, for these three things, you finally will be get 0, so this is also conservative, for next question, i cap del del y of this, minus del del z of this, for j cap, for k cap, similarly thing, Mm. okay here you can see this is not equal to zero so this is a non conservative force so, okay. next question here this is 
a particle is thrown vertically upward with velocity v0 a particle vertically upward with velocity v0 assuming air resistance to be proportional to the velocity of the particle this to, to this velocity of the particle is proportional sorry the resistance of the particle is proportional to the velocity of the particle so that the maximum height attained will be like that so the maximum height will be like that where k is the resistive force constant and g is the acceleration due to gravity so the force equation is the mass into acceleration is minus gm resistive and this force also resistive minus k into vm because this is the proportional to velocity and resistance into mass is the total force so mass will be cancelled out you will be get this relation and this dx will be like that so if you take rearrange them you will be get this one and taking the integration the x is 0 to xm maximum and the velocity will be v0 to 0 when this is 0 this is here, here the x equals to 0 here when the maximum x equal to xm v equal to 0 so take these two limit you can easily find out this answer there is no problem so i think clear all this for here we discuss if there is any doubt you must cover in the convert this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect with me with this telegram channel this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get different physics related video with some problem solution and like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends as well he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you